there's actually a fair amount of things that go on with this, um, with, with the things that we've encountered the last couple of years. Some of them are, are almost unbelievable. Uh, my first investigations on this, I discovered that the efficiency of our hydro generation systems was extremely low. I had expected us to be in the 60% range in efficiency, and they told me that they were closer to the 8% range in Niagara Falls, and they could achieve up to 15% in other hydro installations. That kind of set me off on a tangent where I was interjecting some of my mechanical and electrical training with efficiencies. And the investigations into those uh, made me understand that there were other ways to get energy from water other than the smash and grab principles that they're using in hydro systems right now. Water. Humanity's relationship with water is an enduring, loving affair that goes back to the beginning of time. Water gives us recreation, sustenance, life, and relief. It can trigger our imagination and leave us awe-inspired by its majesty and might. Now, it also will give us an answer to our serious and growing worldwide energy needs. Hydro-pneumatic energy delivery. What if we could generate electricity using two of the most abundant resources on Earth, water and air? And what if we could do it without losing or polluting either one of those two resources? And what if we could do it using an incredibly simple and affordable concept? Mom, check this out. How many times have you seen that happen and never given it a thought? The ball bursts to the surface each and every time and it does so forcefully. That's the concept behind hydro pneumatic power. Here's how it works. To get one cubic foot of air to go one foot underwater, you need to insert 62 foot-pounds of energy. That number increases by 62 for each additional foot underwater that the ball travels. The laws of physics tell us that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So while we hold that ball underwater, the energy we inserted becomes stored in the ball as it awaits a chance to burst back to the surface. This stored or potential energy is the key to the hydropneumatic system. In our system, let's increase the scale of everything. If we make the ball into a box that's 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot, that's 1,000 cubic feet of air. Remember that in the first model with the ball, the energy has to be inserted by the person to make the ball go underwater. The hydropneumatic system, however, uses a series of patented valves that remove the need to insert the energy from above to get the air below the surface. At the top, the chamber fills with water through a specially designed and patented system of valves. Because of the weight of the chamber added to the weight of the water, the chamber sinks to the bottom. Another valve system then releases the water, causing the chamber to fill with air. The chamber now needs to return to the surface, just as the ball trapped underwater did. Using water to create electricity is not a new concept. 
Since ancient times, the force of water has been used to move simple machinery. Initially, it was grain mills and sawmills, and then, in the 1880s, it was used to generate electricity. As electricity gained popularity and the demand grew, we simply increased the number and size of the facilities to meet the demand. The basic science was never improved upon. As demand for power increases significantly both in the U.S. and abroad, there is a real need for highly efficient, environmentally friendly, and sustainable alternative energy sources. Although fossil fuel is being supplemented with nuclear power, windmills, and solar panels, each has serious and fundamental drawbacks in that they are dependent on specific climate conditions or produce extremely dangerous byproducts. The important thing for me is to see that the technology comes forward so that we can have all of the energy we need on this planet in order to continue on into the future. In the hydro-pneumatic electric system, efficiencies of 80 to 85 percent can be realized as we use the potential energy in every gallon of water. Air, water, and the hydro-pneumatic system will give us clean, efficient power for generations to come. Using the hydro-pneumatic electric system, we can harness the power of it all.